topic called sequential files in C++. In every program, the user enters the data with help of a keyboard and the output will be displayed on the screen. As, is the, as soon as the output is displayed, the user exits from the program. Then how to get the data stored permanently? The one option is your storage devices. Here the data is packaged up on the storage devices as a data structure called files. It, uh, in every files, we use two streams called as one is C in and C out. C in is used for getting the data connected to keyboard and a C out is displaying data which is displayed uh, with, uh, which is connected to the screen. And it can also use other streams as to or from files which is similar to C in and C out. And this is an file input and output streams. Whenever user asks for a data, it is fetched from the disk file to the input stream and it is pro proceeded towards the program. Whenever it is processed, it is pro displays as an output to the output stream and again the output is dis uh, output is again backed up in your disk file. In every streams, it uses three classes. One, the first one includes file input stream which is used for reading data from the fi disk file to the program and the file output stream which is used for writing data to the disk file from the program. A in every uh, input output system it can C++ contains three classes one is if stream or OF stream and F stream. If stream provides input operations on files, OF stream provides output operations on the files and F stream which is a combination of both input and output operations on files. And the F stream classes here I mean includes uh, I stream and OF stream. I stream classes for input stream which includes IF stream and O stream the output stream which is which includes OF stream class and which is a combination of IO stream which includes F stream class. Then uh, to create uh, any file, we need to perform the fi following steps. The first one, we need to create a we need to declare a file name with the variable, and second, we need to associate the file name file name variable with the disk file name. Then open the file and use the file, and finally close the file. And uh, every files will be considered as a sequence of bytes, and it is uh, and the end is marked with the end of file marker, which is called as EOF. For creating a sequential file, we need to use three classes, if stream, OF stream and EF stream. If stream classes for input and OF stream only allows for output only and IO operation which includes the F stream classes. To create a file, we need to use the option called OF stream output file name, file name, a file open mode. To attach a file, we need to include OF stream out, out client file, out client file dot open. Of. Open mode is used for uh, opening an existing file. And to create an existing sequential file, we need to use the opening modes. The one one, first one is APP which represents append mode. It sets the stream position indicator to the end of the stream before each output operation. ATE at the end, that is the position indicator at the end of the stream. And binary, it will consider the uh, data as binary rather than text. In, it allows for input operations on the stream. Out, it allows for output on stream operations on the stream. And the last one is truncate. It will uh, it will consider the current data and will discard the remaining where the length of the is zero is and an opening. To create a uh, sequential file, uh, we need to use uh, you know overloaded operator and uh, to write a file uh, we need to use outline file and to close the file we need to use the function called close off. To read a data from an uh, sequential file we need to use the function called in. So file it, it compulsory should include the file name with the option called IOS scope resolution in. In function is used for reading file. And uh, to read a file existing file, we need to use two operation, two functions called seekg and seekp. Seekg is to use to get the data from the iStream class, uh, and seekp is to get the uh, put data uh, to uh, put uh, from uh, OS stream class. Uh, it includes two options called offset and direction, where offset represents the uh, number of bytes relative to the direction uh, uh, relative to the direction. If it is mentioned as beg, it relative to the beginning of the stream. If it is cur, it represents the current position. If it is end it, it is relative to the end. To read uh, data from a sequential file, we can use the functions called uh, seek g of. Uh, if it is 0, it means the beginning position is the default. If it is seek of n, it will represent the nth byte. If it is cur, it represents current position. And uh, if, if it represents as end, it, uh, it will goes back, goes y bytes back to the back from end. And uh, for s, uh, and it for uh, 0 of uh, curse cur, it represents to the last byte. To, uh, to identify the current pointer location, we can use the function called tell g and tell b. Uh, file object of tell g, it will show the current uh, file location. Thank you.